I can say a racist thing you've done because it just happened when you just talked to me the way you just did. This is a map of San Francisco. <laughs> There's a lot of plots on that. You may be asking, what is that plotting? Well, this isn't false because there are trans people that exist and trans men can also be pregnant as well. Uh, here we are again in the torture chamber because you guys won't stop sending me videos to react to. And I say the torture chamber because you never know what kind of video you're gonna get. If this is your first time, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button it just, like it just told you that a biological male should compete in women's sports. Regardless, if you're new or if you're not, I'm David Kate. I'm a political commentator, and I react to a lot of different videos, whether it's social, political, whatever it is. So nonetheless, let's get into some of these videos that you sent me. This is a table of affluent white ladies who have paid money to be told they're racist. Actually, Margaret, you didn't say yours. What? Your racist thing, thing that you've done. You have yeah. something inside of you that's racist. You must have examples in your own life. I also work in environmental engineering. I have absolutely no people of color. I can can say a racist thing you've done because it just happened when you just talked to me the way you just did this is how white women talk to us all the time the way you just spoke to me was straight up white supremacy sounding terribly white what is that what what the f this is what we call a struggle session a very popular tactic used by marxists during a cultural revolution and did you notice that these women actually paid for this struggle session you may be wondering to yourself why these people have been demoralized to believe that because of the color of their skin, they're inherently evil. And how do you rid yourself of this evil? Simple have a struggle session. So when we talk about these social justice warriors and all this bull crap, this is exactly what we're talking about. What is a woman? What is a, that's a stupid question, dude. That's a dumb question. What is a woman? It's not a trick question. What is a woman? You can't answer the question with the question. Yeah, define the woman without saying woman. You're in college paying for an education. What is a woman? How about you talk to someone with media training? How about you talk to someone? You don't need media training. It's not a trick. What is a woman? It's crazy that such a simple question fully disrupts their ideology regarding sex and gender. And you don't have to be a biologist. You don't need to have media training. It's simple, y'all. A woman is an adult female. A female is somebody that has XX chromosomes. Simple, done, next. Oh my God! Wow! This is a map of San Francisco. <laughs> There's a lot of plots on that. You may be asking, what is that plotting? Well, this is an app where they plot the human feces that are found on the streets of San Francisco. Bro, and you see how I... almost the whole thing is covered because that is what has happened in one of the previous greatest cities this country's ever had. Human feces is now a, a fact of life, except when a communist dictator comes to town. Then they cleaned up the streets. They lined the streets with Chinese flags. They didn't put American flags there. They cleaned everything up. So they're willing to do it for a communist dictator, but they're not willing to do it for their own country. Hey, 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 hey. Why are you running? Why are you running? Bro, did you see that map? There was absolutely no green besides brown in there. No wonder they won this Green New Deal so badly. But I mean, you always hear bad things about California and you don't realize how bad it is until you see this poop map. It's like the freaking Charlie and the poop factory there. True or false, only women get pregnant. True. <laughs> True. 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 Very true. Absolutely true. False. False. Because there are trans people that exist, and trans men can also be pregnant as well. Uh, false. And what are your pronouns? Uh, they, them. <laughs> that, I just love oversimplifications. Nope. I'm not doing this today. You hear that question and you think to yourself, what a ridiculous statement. Of course, men cannot get pregnant. And then comes that inclusive crowd who somehow, some way believes that a man with a penis can give birth. And remember, you're the one that's oversimplifying it. Because if a woman feels like a man that day and happens to give birth, then now we believe that men can give birth. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? 
And you're the idiot that doesn't understand that. You go into African villages, like very poor third world African villages, they don't even have a term for transgender. The idea that a man can become a woman or a woman can become man, this is a uniquely Western phenomenon that is born out of the academy, born out of college, that I will say, and I think we could agree, is, is largely they prey on people that have other underlying issues and then it gets built on top of that autism spectrum disorder depression anxiety some other sort of um, bipolar schizophrenia thing trauma things of that nature well, this deserves its own two hour conversation, but Charlie Kirk here is absolutely right. This is a phenomenon that is exclusive to the West simply because we've reached our peak as society. And when there's nothing to fix anymore, that is when society starts to destroy itself within itself, especially by utilizing these social justice warriors like you just saw in this video. And that does it for our reactionary video. If you like this stuff, smash that subscribe button again, like they just told you that a biological man should compete in women's sports. And if you don't like that like button over there, then that's gonna happen. Till next time, crew, thank you for joining the David Cage channel.